Hey there, Success Mentor fam. Welcome back to another exciting video. I'm thrilled to have you here. If you're new to the channel, let me warmly welcome you. This is the place where we discuss a lot of customer success and support related topics. You've come to the right place, whether looking for guidance or simply seeking inspiration and support. I want this channel to be an interactive community, so don't be shy hit that subscribe button and join our success mentor family. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on the latest updates and exciting content in store for you. Before we begin, I'd like to extend a big thank you to all of our loyal viewers and subscribers. Your support means the world to me, and I appreciate every comment, like, and share. Don't forget to tap that notification bell, so you'll be the first to know whenever we upload a new video. Now, let's talk about today's video. Today we will cover building a customer-centric culture, and I can't wait to dive right in. We are going to explore strategies for fostering a customer-centric mindset across your organization to deliver outstanding support and drive loyalty. Creating a customer-centric culture is essential for any organization that wants to thrive in today's highly competitive business environment. A customer-centric culture is one where every employee is focused on delivering outstanding customer support and driving customer loyalty. In this video, we will explore strategies for fostering a customer-centric mindset across your organization. 1. Start with the leadership team. Creating a customer-centric culture starts with the leadership team. Your organization's leaders must be committed to building a culture that puts the customer at the center of everything you do. They must be the role models for the rest of the organization and set the tone for how customers are treated. 2. Communicate the importance of customer centricity. It's not enough to have a customer-centric culture. Your employees need to understand why it's essential. Communicate the importance of customer centricity to your employees and explain how it impacts the organization's success. This will help them understand their role in delivering outstanding customer support. 3. Empower your employees. Empowering your employees is critical to creating a customer-centric culture. Give them the tools and resources they need to deliver outstanding customer support. Encourage them to take ownership of customer issues and empower them to make decisions that benefit the customer. 4. Foster a culture of continuous improvement. Creating a customer-centric culture is an ongoing process. Encourage your employees to look for ways to improve the customer experience continuously. Celebrate successes and learn from failures. This will help create a culture of continuous improvement where everyone is focused on delivering outstanding support. 5. Measure customer satisfaction. Measuring customer satisfaction is critical to creating a customer-centric culture. Use customer feedback to identify areas where you can improve the customer experience. Share this feedback with your employees to drive improvements across the organization. 6. Reward customer-centric behavior. Rewarding customer-centric behavior is a great way to reinforce the importance of delivering outstanding customer support. Recognize employees who go above and beyond to deliver excellent customer service. This will help create a culture where everyone is focused on delivering exceptional support. Creating a customer-centric culture is essential for any organization that wants to thrive in today's highly competitive business environment. By starting with the leadership team, communicating the importance of customer centricity, empowering your employees, fostering a culture of continuous improvement, measuring customer satisfaction, and rewarding customer-centric behavior, you can create a culture where everyone is focused on delivering outstanding support and driving customer loyalty. Here are the steps and considerations needed to build a customer success leadership team. Step 1. Define the roles and responsibilities. The first step is to define the roles and responsibilities of the customer success leadership team. This includes identifying the key positions, such as the VP of customer success, director of customer success, and customer success managers. It's essential to define their responsibilities, such as managing customer relationships, driving customer adoption, and ensuring customer satisfaction. Step two, 
determine the necessary skills and experience. Once you've defined the roles and responsibilities, you must determine the necessary skills and experience for each role. This includes identifying the required qualifications, such as industry experience, customer service skills, and leadership abilities. It would be best to consider the experience level needed for each role, such as entry level, mid-level, or senior level. Step 3. Recruit and hire the right people. The next step is to recruit and hire the right people for each role. This includes creating job descriptions, posting job openings, and conducting interviews. You should also consider using assessments and tests to determine the candidate's skills and abilities. It's important to hire people who are passionate about customer success and have the necessary skills and experience. Step 4. Provide training and development. Once you've hired the customer success leadership team, you must provide them with training and development opportunities. This includes onboarding, ongoing training, and coaching. You should also provide opportunities for professional development, such as attending industry conferences and networking events. Step 5. Establish metrics and goals. Establishing metrics and goals for the customer success leadership team is essential. This includes identifying key performance indicators, KPIs, such as customer satisfaction, retention rate, and revenue growth. It would be best if you also established goals for each team member, such as the number of customer accounts they manage and the revenue they generate. Step 6. Foster a customer-centric culture. Finally, you must foster a customer-centric culture within the customer success leadership team and the organization. This includes setting the tone from the top, communicating the importance of customer success, and providing resources and support to the team. You should also reward and recognize the team's achievements and successes. Building a customer success leadership team is an essential step in creating a customer-centric culture in any business. By defining the roles and responsibilities, determining the necessary skills and experience, recruiting and hiring the right people, providing training and development, establishing metrics and goals, and fostering a customer-centric culture, you can build a successful customer success team that drives customer satisfaction and business growth. Customer centricity is the foundation of any successful business. It's the practice of putting the customer at the center of everything you do, from product development to customer support. Here are some reasons why customer centricity is essential for any business. 1. Increase customer satisfaction. When you put the customer at the center of your business, you're more likely to meet their needs and exceed their expectations. This leads to increased customer satisfaction, which is essential for retaining customers and driving business growth. 2. Improved customer retention. Customer centricity is also essential for improving customer retention. When you focus on delivering a great customer experience, customers are more likely to stick with your business over the long term. This leads to higher customer lifetime value and increased revenue for your business. 3. Enhance brand reputation. A customer centric business is also more likely to have a positive brand reputation. When you prioritize the customer experience, you create loyal customers who are likelier to recommend your company to others. This leads to increased brand awareness and a positive brand reputation. 4. Better product development. Customer centricity is also essential for product development. When you listen to customer feedback and prioritize their needs, you're more likely to develop products that meet their needs and solve their problems. This leads to better product market fit and increased revenue for your business. 5. Increase revenue. Finally, customer centricity is essential for driving revenue growth. When you prioritize the customer experience, you create loyal customers who are more likely to buy from your business over the long term. This leads to increased revenue and profitability for your business. Customer centricity is essential for any successful business. Putting the customer at the center of everything you do can improve customer satisfaction, enhance customer retention, build a positive brand reputation, develop better products, and drive revenue growth.
creating a customer-centric culture is not without its challenges. Let's discuss the challenges of fostering a customer-centric mindset across your organization. Resistance to change. One of the most significant challenges of building a customer-centric culture is resistance to change. Organizations that have been around for a long time may have established processes and procedures that are not customer-centric. Employees may be resistant to changing the way they work, and it can be challenging to get them to adopt a customer-centric mindset. Lack of leadership buy-in. Creating a customer-centric culture starts with leadership. Leaders need to set the tone for the organization and lead by example. However, if leadership does not buy into the idea of a customer-centric culture, it can be challenging to get the rest of the organization on board. Siloed departments. Another challenge of building a customer-centric culture is siloed departments. Different departments in an organization may have other goals and objectives, which can lead to a lack of collaboration and communication. This can result in a fragmented customer experience and a lack of consistency in customer support. Inadequate resources. Building a customer-centric culture requires resources, including time, money, and personnel. Organizations may not have the resources to invest in the necessary training, technology, and infrastructure to create a customer-centric culture. Lack of customer insights. Organizations need to understand their customers' needs, preferences, and pain points to build a customer-centric culture. However, gathering customer insights can be a challenge. Organizations may not have the tools or resources to collect and analyze customer data effectively. Inconsistent execution. Building a customer-centric culture requires consistency in execution. However, inconsistent execution can be a challenge. Employees may not always follow the established processes and procedures, resulting in a lack of consistency in customer support. Building a customer-centric culture is essential for delivering outstanding support and driving customer loyalty. However, it has its challenges. Organizations may face resistance to change, lack of leadership buy-in, siloed departments, inadequate resources, lack of customer insights, and inconsistent execution. Overcoming these challenges requires a commitment to creating a customer-centric culture, starting with leadership buy-in, investing in resources, breaking down silos, gathering customer insights, and ensuring consistency in execution. By addressing these challenges head-on, organizations can create a culture that puts the customer at the center of everything they do. In conclusion, building a customer-centric culture is paramount for any successful business in today's competitive landscape. This video has highlighted the significance of adopting a customer-centric approach and the challenges organizations may encounter. We have seen that a customer-centric culture goes beyond offering excellent products or services. It involves truly understanding your customers' needs, wants, and expectations, and aligning your entire organization around delivering exceptional experiences at every touch point. One of the main challenges faced in creating a customer-centric culture is changing the mindset and behaviors of employees. Shifting from a product-focused perspective to a customer-focused one requires a cultural transformation that demands time, effort, and persistence. It requires buy-in from all levels of the organization, from leadership to frontline employees. Another challenge is overcoming internal silos. Often, departments or teams operate in isolation, with limited communication and collaboration. To build a customer-centric culture, these silos must be broken down, and a cross-functional approach should be adopted. This collaborative effort ensures that all departments work together seamlessly to provide a unified and exceptional customer experience. Additionally, gathering and analyzing customer feedback can be a challenge. Obtaining accurate and actionable insights requires implementing effective feedback mechanisms, such as surveys, customer interviews, and social listening. It's crucial to listen attentively to customer feedback, identify pain points, and continuously use this information to improve products, services, and processes. Lastly, maintaining consistency in delivering a customer-centric experience can be a constant challenge. 
as businesses grow, ensuring that each customer interaction reflects the organization's customer-centric values becomes increasingly complex. However, by instilling these values into the company's DNA, providing ongoing training, and reinforcing the importance of customer centricity, organizations can overcome this challenge and maintain a consistent customer experience. Overcoming these challenges and building a customer-centric culture is challenging, but the benefits are significant. Organizations prioritizing the customer and investing in creating a customer-centric culture are more likely to foster loyalty, increase customer lifetime value, drive positive word of mouth, and gain a competitive edge in the market. By embracing the customer-centric philosophy and addressing the challenges head-on, your organization can cultivate lasting relationships with customers, exceed their expectations, and ultimately thrive in today's customer-driven business environment. Remember, it's not just about making sales, it's about creating loyal advocates who will support your business for years. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We have videos released every Tuesday and Saturday and a bonus one occasionally on Thursdays.